Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss a, a pretty interesting video on a corollary of continuity theorem, uh, and I'll go over a proof of that. Basically, corollary means uh, just a, a direct uh, theorem that's from a bigger theorem that uh, you get it directly from it. Uh, basically, like I showed in my last video, if f and g and q are polynomials, then and and you have this situation where you have f of x equal f of x divided by q of x equals to let's say g of x divided by q of x where x is defined everywhere except where you have well x uh, q of x equals to zero right here. Then the theorem that uh, comes across from continuity is basically f of x equals g of x for all of x even even for the ones that have q of x equals to zero. And now the proof of this, well we first have to look at continuity. So proof of this theorem, we look at continuity and we know that if a function is continuous, then basically what this means is a limit as x approaches a of let's say f, let's go small f of x, this just equals to f of a. And if you were to graph it, it just looks something like this. This is f of x, this is um, x right here. It's just continuous everywhere. So you could draw a straight a line everywhere and, and this value exists right here. This is a, this is f of a. So basically as you get closer and closer you just get this point. So that's all continuity is and also uh, polynomials. So because in this case these are polynomials. So polynomials are continuous. Yeah, these are all yeah, are basically continuous. So every one of those is continuous. For example, if you have, let's say, x3 plus x squared 2, whatever, this is continuous because, well, any value you put into here adds up to any value you put in here. So you can put any value in. There's no uh, issue with that. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, since we, these are uh, continuous, now let's just go back to, let's say, at... Um, yeah, let's say add basically x equals to a, just pick a random point here, where q of a is equal to zero, so that's the denominator right here. So so if, if we're given that a is there, then we know that basically f of x over uh, q of x equals to g of x, q of x. So we know directly if we just cancel these out, you can multiply them both sides by q of x we get basically f of x equals to g of x for basically um, all x that's not equal to a. So we know this, but yeah, but since f and g are continuous, then we, we can basically write this continuity formula right here. Continuous, then we get basically f of a is equal to limit as x approaches a of f of x. And now this equals 2 because we know that g of x, f of x equals to g of x. Yeah, for all values where x is not equal to a. So getting closer and closer to a is still going to hold true. So limit as x approaches a of g of x. Yeah, it's equal. So these are equal. The limits are equal. But again, they're both continuous. So this equals to g of a. So we're basically f of a equals to g of a. So it doesn't matter if this a it does not, uh, it's not defined in this overall function because regardless they're still continuous so you could still plug them in. And, uh, and basically summarize this up, f of x equals to g of x for all x. So it doesn't matter what it is in this case. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this uh, quick video on continuity and this corollary uh, theorem. And this is useful when uh, so when solving coefficients for partial fraction decomposition, like I went over in my last video. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you learned. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.